Gemini. I um, forgot <laughs> to turn on the white on the video. I um, anyway, this is your reading for um, the last part of October. And uh, the card you got was Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. And on the Mercury card, you got the Empress, King of uh, Swords, and uh, Eight of uh, Wands. And I want to know what uh, this tree card means please some thoughts I don't know maybe you have some conversations with this um, king of swords and it got you in uh, some thoughts I don't know Anyway, moving forward to Venus. What's the Venus card all about for Gemini in October? Looks like uh, uh, love here. And someone is blocking the love. Uh, either this is you or this is someone else who's blocking you from um, experience love or I think it's because you have been hurt in the past because of the nine of ones uh, you don't really trust the concept of love What's the Jupiter card, please? Talks about uh, uh, the equal give and take. Balance. Nine of cups. Something has come to light in uh, the regard to maybe uh, love or money. Something has been shed light on, you know. So, can I get a clarifier on this, please? The Temperance, the Nine of Cups, and the Hermit, please. Yeah, there's something old. You um, um, put behind you can be in um, regards to an older man. <clears throat> Not sure, man. And a wealthy man as well. Maybe this is uh, some uh, inheritance or, or something like that. From, uh, yeah, on the bottom of the deck, I got adjudication. Uh, so maybe. This is some uh, uh, court case in, um, in regards to someone um, passed away or something like that. Um, I want to uh, um, take some oracle cards and give you some give you some advice. 
the advice for Gemini this October, please. Love is your energy. That's great. And one more, please, for Gemini. Worry is a wasted emotion. Hmm. Yeah. Gemini, that's all I had for you. I hope you have a wonderful October. All the best to you. Bye-bye.